Hey, this is Doug Doug, your captain speaking. Welcome aboard Doug Doug Airlines. Today we're going to be flying underneath the most iconic monuments around the world using Microsoft Flight Simulator, and it's incredibly realistic flying. I wouldn't trust him with a paper plane. Look, I literally went through the tutorials two streams ago and learned the basics of how to fly a plane. I mean, it's going to be fine. If this guy is flying, I'll just jump. <laughs> okay, you have better odds in the plane with me, okay? You might not like it, but the odds are better. Today's mission is simple. We're going to fly underneath 10 famous monuments in a row without crashing the plane a single time. And to start off this mission, we first had to pick which monuments and buildings that we're going to fly under. Okay, this seems impossible. How would I get a plane through this, dude? This is tiny. Do it, coward. I mean, it's possible. I'll throw it in. Hey, Dungeon Chat. Just wanted to let you guys know that I'm about to propose to my girlfriend right under the Brandenburg Gate. <laughs> I hope it goes well. Wait, why is that plane getting so close? Okay, all right, hold on. As far as you're concerned, I'm going to be a world-class pilot by then, okay? Now, for every round, we will spin a wheel to choose a random monument and a random plane to fly with. And because I forced Twitch chat to be my passengers, I programmed a tool that lets them display meme images with custom text onto the screen. That way, they can easily communicate with me, their trusted and experienced pilot. <laughs> it's going to be fine. And now, we are ready for takeoff. Passengers, please keep your seatbelts fastened at all times. There will be turbulence ahead the Ark of Triumph, and we're using this plane. Uh-oh. The Airbus is bigger than the Ark. I can go at an angle. Alright, Ark. Wait, is that the Ark right there? <laughs> that looks tiny! I can't make that! The passengers are shitting themselves. Now, hold on. We're gonna take them on a scenic flight through Paris, okay? I would love to see Paris from the air. Okay, I am trying to pull the airplane up, and it's not moving. <laughs> Oh boy, I can't wait to see my family for Christmas. Wait, why is the plane going straight down? <laughs> over speed. Over speed. Over Don't worry about the overspeed. I'll figure it out. Did you know you're going over speed? I'm turning my speed down. You can hear it. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. Uh -oh. over speed. You're going too fast. Try playing slow music to dampen it out. Good idea. Hey, Doug. Professional airplane crasher here. You are doing great. Thank you. Where's the Ark of Triumph? I thought it was right here. It's right in front of you. Oh my god, it's right there. I think I can make it. Doug, this is Homeland Security. Are you literally flying a commercial airline into a famous landmark? No. Through. Thank you again for flying Doug Doug Airlines. If you look out the window, you're gonna notice the Arc de Triumph. It's a famous, oh god, it's, a okay, it's a, if you look out the right window, <laughs> fuck, shit, okay. They never tell you how little turning radius you have on these things. Hey Doug, I bought some duty-free wine, but the bottle broke when you crashed into the lovely scenery of Paris. Uh, yeah. Can I get a refund? Don't worry, we're gonna refund any drinks that are spilled. This is the target. Target meaning the thing I'm flying through. Museum of the Future in Dubai. The airplane for this one is a Hercules H4. This is fucking huge! I'm not gonna be able to fly through this. I thought it was tiny. Gonna go great. Obviously, the plane named after the most swell guy in mythology would be a light aircraft. Okay, you have a point. Uh, don't worry, air traffic controllers. We know exactly what we're doing. We're all gonna die. You're gonna be fine. Imagine being on a commercial airline and the pilot starts playing this song and flying straight down. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Doug Doug Airlines. Please enjoy our new in flight music. On your right, you're gonna notice the Burj Khalifa. It's the tallest building in the world. Now, somewhere to the left of that is a museum, and we're gonna go check it out. It's a fun of adventure. Am I right, gang? Doug <laughs> sneaking up on innocent landmark. Oh, shit, I gotta move. Uh, go ahead and fasten your seatbelts. We're gonna notice just a little bit of turbulence here as we fucking got so much closer than I thought. Sorry, gang. <laughs> Oops! Okay, I was fucked anyway because the Hercules is the size of 15 Boeing 747s. Hey, Doug, what complimentary snacks do you offer on this flight? It's only olive oil. We're gonna fly through the Tower Bridge in a diamond aircraft. That doesn't sound too hard. 
I want to remind everybody, I am a hot-blooded, God-fearing, freedom-drinking, beer-loving, football-watching American, okay? I don't know things about London, okay? We beat them in the War of 1812, and we're going to beat the Tower of London Bridge right now. Hey, old dog, which corner of the main cabin is meant for shitting on the ground? Can I shit in the business-class cabin? There's just a hole in the plane, and you can dump in there, and we'll drop it onto the, the London. Hey, Doug, you did remember to properly file this flight plan, right? Look, in America, you don't have to tell London when you're gonna fly into it, okay? That's part of the Constitution that we wrote when we beat them in the American Revolution. We said, we're sick of your taxes, we want independence from your government, and we get to fly into London whenever we want. Please learn how to deploy flaps. It lets you fly slower and control a plane easier. Why would you, why would you need to do that? <laughs> Damn right! Oh, okay. We, uh, you're gonna notice on your left a, uh, gigantic scary black bar that appeared in the middle of London. It's never happened in America. Are we there yet? Hey, hey, I will turn this plane around. Hey, Doug, why do you get to sit while we are crammed together in the back? Look, I need a lot of space. You guys are, you guys are all back there. You have plenty of space. Quit complaining. Hey, seek your slow down, Paul. I'm gonna need the air traffic controller to, uh, stop being such a pansy. Just live a little. Jesus. There, there it is, there it is. This one's for America. Now, right above you, you're gonna notice the London Bridge and below you. <laughs> okay! Woo! Extra flight, dun nuts! Fucking airlines! A little celebratory loop the loop here. All right, number two. Oh, this is easy. This is easy. Dude, give me the Boeing. Like, let me knock out the Boeing or the Hercules. Airbus, Airbus, Airbus. Fuck. I'm gonna put on my aviators. Okay, bad news. I cannot see. Yo, I can't see any. Oh my god, this plane is so good. Okay, it's a little bit too much. Hey, guys, we are experiencing a little turbulence in the cabin. There's a little bit of a glare. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, whoa, whoa, boy. Uh, make sure you got your seat. Oh, shit! Your seatbelt's fastened. I don't know how to undo that. <laughs> what is happening? I'm not doing this intentionally. I swear I'm not. I can, like, barely touch it or turn it. <laughs> I'm gonna barf. You're gonna be fine. Just wait a second, and the story will come through mayday, with a complimentary barf bag. Shit! Fuck! Okay, get out, get out! I have to go through these buildings. Yes, and we're clear! Woo! These are horrible glasses for flying a plane. Do not recommend it. Next target. Goal. Monument. Okay. Christ the Redeemer is a giant statue of Jesus. I've gotten a few emails from people who reached out and were upset at some of the jokes I made about Jesus. Like on GTA 5 or Zelda. They're like, hey, that's like really not cool to make fun of my religion like that. You know, I'm like, I never am intentionally saying like, I, you know, I love Christians. I'm not personally religious, but I have nothing against it. I feel like I've never intentionally tried to be disrespectful or I feel like it's fairly, I don't know, innocent jokes that are clearly for fun. But I am flying an airplane directly at Jesus Christ. And I'm worried they might find this a little less forgivable if this doesn't work correctly. All right, we're going to be making a right turn. Yeah, if you uh, look out the left of your window, you're gonna know it's Jesus Christ the Redeemer. Fuck! No! I, I thought he would turn faster! <laughs> Jesus took the wheel. I mean, he took it and, and did not let go. This is your captain speaking. Unfortunately, due to some unexpected turbulence, the uh, airplane exploded. And uh, since we crashed, we will now have to restart this whole challenge from the beginning and fly through 10 new monuments. Buckle up, Twitch Jet. St. Louis Arch with the AVI, we go real, real, real quick. I'm gonna set my starting spot really close to it. This is where I'm starting the flight, okay? And this is where I'm ending it. Got about 100 feet. <laughs> okay, I am ready to fly. Wait, it's... <laughs> oh my God. No, no, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Yes, we're good. Oh, not even close. All right, all right, we're good. We'll say hi to the St. Louis Cardinals, and then we're out of here. Oh, or that guy. That guy in the yellow car here. Can I get your insurance info, please? <laughs> Why don't you just leave a note? Number two, Arches National Park. There's like a big rock I gotta fly through. That is not that big. Um... Hey, dog, I didn't realize Doug Doug Airlines was a subsidiary of Virgin Airlines, but I guess that makes sense. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, we have sex all the time on those air. We're cool pilots here. Have you seen my aviators? Where is it? It's right there. I don't see it. You guys are saying arch. Where? 
Wait, that dude, there's a fucking wall behind it. Who put a mountain right behind it? It's a terrible design. You know what? I'm not a coward. I'm going for it. And so I would scoop down. This is a test. This is a test. Scoop down and then up. This is doable. It's honestly doable. I'm going for it. I'm fucking going for it. And here we go. If you look out the left of the plane, you're going to notice the famous archway. This is a monument over in Utah. Fucking no! So close! Oh, that's impossible, man. If only I had flaps. <laughs> Shut up, passengers! Flaps are up and down on the D-pad. Oh, those are called flaps? Who knew? Who would have known? So this slows me down? It does slow me down. It slows me way down. Okay, I have a proposal. Now that I know what flaps are, give me one more shot at this. If I miss it, 10 gifted subs. But if I make it, I redeem myself and we keep going on the challenge. Hey Doug, flaps are extensions of the wing. Deploying these will make it so that you can fly much slower and descend without pitching down. Your mom had full flaps in bed last night. A little bit more, just a little bit more. Little teeny tiny bit more. I know you're stalling, just, just a bit more. This is the slowest airplane that has ever moved in the history of mankind. No, you're gonna fucking off that? You don't even need that part of the airplane. Can we say, I get to keep going, but five gifted subs for every death. I get the feeling this is gonna take a lot. I mean, this is like kind of bullshit, right? It, nobody would have thought that flying planes is actually hard. Passengers, we are experiencing some rocky delays in our flight, but as an apology from Doug Dog Airlines for killing you, we will now be gifting five subs per airplane crash up until we fly through this archway. Buckle your fucking seatbelts. BTC, I'm trying to do something cool here. All right, just give me a sec. Now I drop, I drop the engine. And we pull up. No, why, I thought it was, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> if I were to just like go down right here, and go up. Dude, there's no fucking way. A bit more, just a little bit more. Just get over that hump. Just get a little, little bit more. All right, well, let's just make a safe landing then. Yeah, safe landing. Flap stock. It's possible. No! Hold on. <laughs> why? Why did this happen? So we've lost contact with 15 planes that were sent to tour Stone Arch. What should we do? This is the Royal Doug Doug Air Adventures tours. Keep sending planes. Fuck. Okay, so then I immediately have to start pulling up. Douglas, you need to commit to the dive, please. It's possible, right? I'm gonna fly through this. Don't sink. Why is he saying don't sink? What's wrong with sinking right now? All right, I kill the engine. I turn on flaps. Oh, it's stalled. Fuck! I have to start accelerating, right? When I'm dropping down? I'm in maintain flight level 410. Just hold on a fucking second. I'm about to do a real giga chat move, air traffic controller. Stop. Don't worry about the stall. Don't worry. Okay, I gotta worry a little bit, actually. Oh my god, I did it. No! What? How is that not it? I just have to play the best fucking airplane of my life. No! Fuck! That was so goddamn close. It's impossible. I hit a fucking bush. It's possible. Chat, look at the sheer focus on this man's eyes. This is how a pilot is born. And no matter how many million dollar planes he destroys, no matter how many innocent passengers die in his hands, he always gets back up. This is Inspirational. it. Inspirational. Oh, fuck, that's all. Oh my god, let's fucking go! Ah, yes! And I landed safely outside the arch. Fuck yes! Ah, yes! God, I'm good at flying an airplane! First try! You should ban all the people who get subs you gift as the passengers who died in the attempts. Hey, mods, I have a task for you. Let's say farewell to the passengers who went out into the field and did research with me. It was through their sacrifice that I learned how to take a tourist Jesus, airline underneath an archway. Mods, take him out! That's a lot of fallen soldiers! And thus the arch flight is finally complete. However, 
Because we spent like an hour flying into this archway, we're gonna change the rules of this mission a bit. Instead of flying through 10 monuments without crashing, I will instead just fly through 10 monuments total. And crashes are allowed, but every single crash, I have to give five more subs to the victims, which might bankrupt my airline. But the Utah Arch is now complete, and next up is Monument 4. Or three. I don't I don't know. I didn't learn math in flight school. Uh-oh. <laughs> ABOT should work. Say hi to Puck as a wily older. This could be hard. Oh my god. Whoa. No, 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 no. Alright, I'll fly as low as I can and we scoop through the whole strip. This is just cool, actually. I hope I don't have to go up at all, because it's not letting me go up. Oh, my engine was off. That's why. Okay, I'm going way too fast. Okay, I gotta go to the left of this palm tree. Jesus Christ, why are the trees so tall? I'm switching to the right side. It looks safer. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, we are experiencing a bit of turbulence in the cabin. Why is it so bouncy? Ah! Oh, pull up! That wasn't even the strip. You did it, that was the strip. That definitely was the strip. We didn't even decide what the end goal would be of the strip. You know what? We need parts here. Hello? I'm at a restaurant picking up food. I'm okay. about to drive. I'm with my uncle. Really quick, if I were hypothetically to drive a plane and I swoop down into the Las Vegas Strip, I start right next to Mandalay Bay, I fly upwards, I get past Caesar's Palace, and then I crash on, into something. What? You say you're a terrorist? No. What was the question? So you're admitting to domestic terrorism. Yes. Did the domestic terrorist fly through the Las Vegas Strip or not? Uh, I don't know. How would I know? Because you live in in Vegas. Oh, this is like a geography question. Do you catch air? It's an airplane. Yes. The general consensus is that you need to fly up to at least the Hera at it would be past Caesar's Palace, past the New Resorts World, past the recently opened Fontaine Blue, and then north above that, past Circus Circus is generally around the spot where people think the strip ends. My uncle is sitting up, he's staring blankly, very confused as to what I'm doing. Okay, bye Parkser, I love you. Tell your uncle I love him. Well, Douglas, Douglas, uh, I'm not going to do that. Uh, uh, okay. I can't in good conscience count that. Is that it? Circus, oh wait, he said circus, hold on. Oh, McDonald's! Okay, I did it. Four out of ten, but I owe ten more gifted subs. Next target. It's my hometown. I think I haven't gone through the Golden Gate Bridge as a child over and over with friends. It's gonna be fucking easy. Cub crafter. Oh, I can float. Look at the Bay Area, man. Oh, I love this place. It's the best. I wish it was affordable. <laughs> Fun little Doug fact. I believe it was that hill right there with the little walking path where I was tripping balls on acid. And that's where I did mushrooms. And that's where I got arrested by the cops for being too drunk. That's where I learned to program really good. Lots of good memories. You know what? We're gonna add a little bit to it. I'm gonna go under this bridge too. Doug, the Bay Area is not your hometown. This is from someone who was born and lived in the Bay Area their whole life. I think of it as my hometown, kind of. Second hometown. It's my favorite place in the world. So it counts. After a nice leisurely tour through the entirety of the Bay Area, we're going for the Golden Gate Bridge. You know what? I'm not a coward. I'm not going under the big part. I'm going to that little circle right there. And hey, we're through. I'm so ready for GTA 6. This has been too easy. I think Doug has to do a water landing after to finish the fight. And a beautiful water landing to tie it off. <laughs> That's a weird way of spelling water landed. <laughs> Thank you. The judge will agree with that. It's the rule of cool in the court of law in America. If it's sick as hell, they'll usually allow it. Number six. Redemption time. Oh, that's perfect. That thing is meant for aerials. Christ the Redeemer, how fitting. This is your time to redeem yourself by doing a sick trick and totally stunting on Jesus Christ. Show him who is the boss. Look, Jesus Christ was crashed into for our sins, but now it's time for the second coming of me into Jesus. I'm gonna try to get fully under his arms. You know, I'm gonna have to come in at an angle. I'm realizing I'm gonna swoosh in. Jesus used to love the swoosh. It's not turning, it's not turning, it's not turning. Okay, we're gonna come in Jesus from the rear. Like, come from behind and then go through the... You know what I mean? I'm gonna come from the right side and then turn left. Shit, this is hard. It's really fucking hard. Okay, that was really good. Does that count? I got like half the plane under his arm. If I get the other half of the plane under the left arm, I'm good. 
Ah! Oh! <laughs> I just saw it. High five. Jesus. I do not have any flying stability right now. I'm bailing. I got super unstable. Yeah. Good seeing you, Jesus. Lame? That counts. What are you talking about? How does that not count? You did not fly under it. Dude, my right wing was under him. It wasn't even remotely under. What? What are you talking about? I think that counts, and I'll go even closer just so you don't call me a coward. I think I've already beaten it at this point. It's easy to get a wing under there that's not a challenge. That is absolutely a challenge. What are you talking about? And Jesus said those who come to me will be relieved of their burdens. Except Satan, who will come behind me. <laughs> That counts. I'll keep going until the doubters are happy. We'll never be happy. Jesus would think this is rad, dude. I'm gonna make every single doubter here cry in the beauty of this flight. The reason his arms are open wide is because he's just so ready to swap the damn pesky plane buzzing around his head. You know what? I'm going for the right arm. And look at this beautiful turn! Woo! Jesus thought that was sick as hell. 16 more times or it doesn't count. Okay, we've redeemed Christ the Redeemer. This might be really, really hard. I don't care how many French people have to die. This is gonna be sick as hell when I pull it off. Okay, my concern is that when this thing turns, it starts veering to the right really hard. So I might need to kind of come into it from the left. Oh my God, I'm gonna first try it, aren't I? Boom! Sick as hell! I don't even know what noise that was. It just felt right, you know? I honestly think the arch training made me a way better pilot. Like, I could easily fly a real airplane. <laughs> Doug, we all lived in that building. All right, give me something easy. Okay, everybody's been talking about Brandenburg. We're going in, and we're going there in a... Okay, can you fit an Airbus underneath that? Try the gate once with an Airbus. Let's be clear here. The wings of it would go outside of the gate. It might fit. Okay. How about we pick a new location? But I have to do it with the Airbus because we haven't seen that. So we reroll the location, not the plane. It's a sign. Hey, to all the real pilots in chat, do you recommend the Airbus 310 or 320 when flying through the Brandenburg gates? <laughs> 320 is smaller. Okay. 310 is a smaller number. Hope that helps. I mean, that's the kind of knowledge that proves you're a professional pilot. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a special flight for you today. Uh, you're going to want to make sure you have your seatbelts fastened right now. Oh, looks like somebody just bumped into the cabin. You know, it looks like we, uh, we may have missed our target. But if you look on the right, you're going to notice beautiful Berlin. You can see Berlin stretching into the distance here. <laughs> Is that enough? Can I use a new car now? This is obviously fucking impossible. You didn't even try. All right. Okay. Gates right there. So what I'm gonna have to do is turn right before getting into it because I should be able to just barely... I am literally wider than the entire gate, chat. <laughs> we have to pick a new vehicle. <laughs> Almost at it. Okay, now it's going to a Boeing 747. <laughs> This isn't doable. <laughs> I'm gonna reroll the location. Marina Bay Sands in Singapore. Looks like this. Guys, you can't fit an Airbus into that. It's not doable. Are you kidding? Okay, I'm going back to Airbus. You can't fit with that attitude. Not all things are about attitude. It would be sick AF though. I mean, I'm not denying it would be sick AF. Anything is possible with enough determination. This plane is gigantic. Just turn it sideways, Lamau. I, uh, the flaps. <laughs> okay, I'll turn on flaps. I'm sure that'll help. <laughs> Flap like a bird. I'll turn the flaps on and off and see if that helps. The flapping at the bottom right is engaged. Check out my flaps. Over speed. Over speed. Over I'm trying to turn it. Over it's not turning. This is not possible. Oh, speed. okay. You know what? It is possible. Thought I'd make this. <laughs> In other news, a low flying plane blew all of the tourists off of the top of Marina Bay Sands building. Many thongs were lost that today. Holy shit, I might do it actually. I'm actually gonna do it. Oh my god! I'm fucking nuts! Wow! I don't know why they made the arch a gigantic hitbox and that a tiny one, but I will fucking take it. God damn, I'm good. I'm sick as fuck. You better believe Jesus back in Brazil is pogging his brains out right now. All right, new location. Patronus Towers. Oh, that's easy. Oh, God, Doug. 
It's two towers. Two towers that look the same. One might even say twin. Okay, Towers. I know this is going to be hard, but collectively, we are going to have to refrain from referencing 9-11. And I know this is going to be hard for everybody here, but I believe that you can do it. The airplane that we'll be flying is... Please, not a 747. <laughs> okay, it was almost a... Okay, it's an Avion. What is the opposite of a 9-11 song? To stay as far away from that theme as possible. Easy. Doom theme song. No, that's probably... No. Yodeling. Nothing bad ever happened when people are yodeling. I think you got this, Doug. This should be way easier than all those giant passenger planes. This message was sent at 9-11 p.m. <laughs> Don't make that joke. Stop. We are just going on a lovely flight through Malaysia with a plane that is so small, it's not even possible to crash this. Oh, look at that lovely golf course. All right, nobody freak out and we're, we're fine. You know what? I bet I could fit through that triangle. I'm going into the, the small hole. Woo! What the fuck happened to the plane? Oh, that was rad as fuck! And we go back in for more. God, I'm sick as hell. Never for- what? No, I didn't. Okay, I can't fly through the whole grain. We didn't actually figure out what does this mean? Like, is it for like a full minute? Doug, I thought we were going to the hexagon next. No, we're not. No, we're not. No. So I enter the bend. And then I have to make it through the entire canyon to the Navajo Bridge. That's a seven minute flight. <laughs> it's gonna take so long. Okay, we're gonna try it. The goal is to drive this thing through the Grand Canyon. Can we all agree? That'll be sick AF. Attention all passengers, we are now reaching our final destination, the Grand Canyon. Skies are looking clear today as we fly through long winding canyon paths and under the famous Navajo Bridge using the only airplane that is officially licensed for canyon flights the F-18 Superjet. So buckle three or four more seatbelts, Twitch Jet. We're beginning our final flight. Ladies and gentlemen, we are entering Canyon. If you look forward, backward, right, or left, you will see the Grand Canyon. You gotta crank the speed. Do I need to crank the speed? Stewardess is coming by with drinks right now. However, please keep your seatbelt on because we are going Mach fucking five. As this is a jet, the faster you go, the more control you will have until you go around Mach point eight. All right, fuck, send it then. Now, if you're enjoying this, I'm excited to offer you the new Doug Doug credit card, a rewards program that will get you one free mile for every crash that we do into the Grand Canyon. Wait, where do I go? Well, there's a fork in the road. What the fuck? Ah! What? I can't turn this fucking thing. Because you're in the afterburner. We get a free mile. Yeah, great job. I think I just, the problem is I need to be going faster. Cut engines to turn. Really? Okay, so I speed up a lot and then I cut the engines. Let's get a little bit of speed up here. Don't want to keep you all waiting. Go ahead and keep your seatbelts on. We are experiencing a little bit of turbulence. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm still indicated. Oh, fuck. Uh, this is your captain speaking. We are doing fine. The thing does seem to be like speeding up a lot more than I expected. This is your captain speaking. How the fuck do I turn off the engine? How do I get it to slow down? This is your captain speaking. Please enjoy a uh, complimentary drinks. We're good. Uh, if you look to the right, you'll notice the Grand Canyon. <laughs> How do you do this? This thing is impossible. You're going way too fast. You guys told me jets have afterburners and I have to burn onto the, the fuck. I don't know. I'm just trusting you. You were going too slow. See, this is what I mean. Should have taken a bus. I'm going to get you there quickly, okay? Welcome back to Duck Duck Grand Canyon Airlines. Now, buckle your seatbelts because we are going 700 knots right now. That's pretty fucking fast. We are going to die again. Can the passengers stop panicking in the back of the car, please? <laughs> The passengers, please just look to the right and notice the Grand Canyon. I would rather be in the basement at this point, and no, I will not be buying your Doug Rewards card. You don't understand. With 500 crashes, you would get a free flight through the Grand Canyon. You guys need to be more grateful back there. Oh, now you're complaining that it's going too fast. Shut up! I'm gonna turn this plane around! Oh, fuck! Okay, hold on. This is your captain speaking. If you look to the left, you're gonna notice a big fucking wall. Tell my son I love him. No, 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 no. You can tell him that yourself once we fly into the Navajo Bridge. I mean, through the Navajo. It's underneath the bridge. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of G Force back there. If there are any unrestrained babies, they're probably dead. If you forgot to put a seatbelt on your child, you don't have to worry about feeding your kids anymore. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! How do I apply for the Doug Doug credit card? <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I was thinking about that kid's. <laughs> 
Sun! Okay, everybody gets three free miles. Right now, as I face the final countdown, I realize I wish I had donated less to charity and put more money into the Duke Doug Mileage card. The one thing people are grant before they die, not signing up for the Doug Doug Mileage reward card. They missed out on a free trip to the Grand Canyon. This is crazy. Can we calm down up there? The passengers need to calm down. We're only at Mach point six. All right, don't make me shake the plane around. Oh God, oh God, okay, oh fuck. This is fine, everybody please remain calm. If you uh, look below you, you're gonna notice uh, the river. It's about like six inches away. <laughs> what, there's the bridge! There's the bridge! I got you there, if you look up right now, you're gonna notice the Navajo Bridge, that fucking right! Thank you for flying Doug Doug Airlines. We know you have many choices when you choose to travel, and we appreciate you choosing a fighter jet going through the Grand Canyon. And that's how Doug Doug Airlines completed the first ever monument flying mission across the entire world. And I am very happy to announce that because you all signed up for the Doug Doug Rewards program, everyone here now gets a free mandatory trip to Las Vegas. Because I don't know how to land the jet. Really can't emphasize this enough. No smoking in the lavatories. It's very dangerous.